won't drink Judas until my mind is dead. My ears are raped into silence by a broken heart. I will shoot poison until my lungs breathe wool. For a moment, the trail is held in a barbed wire noose. Welcome back. I thought we were finished. We are never finished. Blind, the clay lump speaks. I am nostril, and I will give me vision, though I myself have none. Doe eyed nymph mashed into the wet gray, her brow sharp and spiteful, and those fat, dewy globes pop fathoms out of their beds. For shortened planes, the cheats of perspective have duly thrust those blank stares forward, vacant as the bald moon. She knew him. She had to have known him before. You don't flirt like that to a complete stranger. were half parted like a whispered kiss, silver as dead fish. She should be so lucky to have not the eyes to see how her face is sculpted, the brusque joints of her cheek and eyelash, the overhigh arch of her eyebrow and the swollen pouch of her lower lip all conspire against her. They all blended, 
It didn't matter how many there were. They were all one man. And one man was enough to kill me. She has been mournfully fashioned with a thin whine, a common whinny of selfishness, a snippety twaddle of genuine malice. She had been born, contaminated, and then died. Contaminated. She was contaminated, all right. The demon poisoned her. There's such a god-awful stench to this whole business. It filled the room. You could choke to death on the stink of infidelity. Death to the limply pounding brain matter, thumbs with too many holes. You could press your fingers into the tension between us, forty years of hate becoming forty million. So nice. A death. Is it not? So I killed them. Nice a death, is it not? To remain unseen, with large eyes lovelier blind than anything else. 